There is no fire behind the Miami Dolphins after Brian Dabble took the job in hand with the Giants and Chris Greer is just moving it along naturally. According to just above everyone in the NFL, the Miami Dolphins were targeting Brian Dabble and maybe they were. Regardless, they were not sold on him so much that they needed to get him an offer but instead a second interview to discuss one. The Giants on the other hand wanted Dabble. He was their top guy. They made him an offer. Dabble would have shown his desire to coach the Dolphins if he had rejected it but that isn't the smart move. The smart move is to take the job you have been offered when no other offer sheet is on the table. It's not like the Giants are a bad situation for him. The general manager is a good friend of his. After the Dabble news on Friday, the Dolphins held steady. They didn't bump up any interviews. They will interview Mike McDaniel and Kellen Moore next week. They could hire more at any time, he isn't in the postseason. So are the Dolphins waiting on McDaniel? Is he the boy genius that the Dolphins want to lead their team? Maybe, maybe not. The Dolphins want to interview them both and then, maybe they make a decision. There is still a part of me, albeit more of a gut felling than anything concrete, that we still haven't heard the last of the name Jim Harbaugh. National Signing Day is approaching on February 2nd. That is this coming Wednesday. The Dolphins should have interviewed more by then and probably McDaniel as well but is Ross concerned about losing Michigan recruits by hiring Harbaugh before high school athletes commit? I don't have an answer for that. What we know is that according to reports, Dabble wasn't the top choice for the Dolphins entirely. There were differing opinions and that is why they wanted a second interview. Now we move on to the next phase. The phase that should net the Dolphins a head coach. In reality, there is little if any drop-off from Dabble to either of the other candidates. In fact, you could argue, and many fans on social media are doing just that, that McDaniel is a better option over Dabble. Miami doesn't seem too concerned unless the person who wanted Dabble was steadfast that he was the absolute best. If that was the case, I believe that Dabble would be the coach and the other side of that debate would have given in. Unlike the attempt to land Jeff Fisher, the Dolphins' Stephen Ross and Chris Greer are not picking up the phone and panicking. They are staying their course. How that works out, well we will know soon enough and then can debate the hire for the next two or three years.